There's a saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, this guy took this motto to a whole nother level. The Cathedral of Junk. This is amazing, check this out. When did this all start? Like, how long have you been doing this? Uh, in 1989, when I moved into this house. And just started with a few hubcaps along the fence and just kind of grew from there. Wow. I'm thinking that this might be where the magic happens. What happened to my hubcap? Oh, there it is. You have a little bit of everything here. I see you have like a lot of bikes. I've got like about 800 bikes in here. That's the one thing that I really kind of counted. What do the neighbors think about all this? They're cool with it so long as I don't have a party too late. Do you have them bringing over items that they might throw away? They go, hey, maybe Vince will want to use this. Sure, some of my neighbors do. The dedication to put all this stuff together, this has like got to be like, it's a, it's a full-time job. Before you started building this, did you, would you spend time like in the junkyard or something going, that would make a great no, table? No, really. Or... I spent a lot of time just jumping the fence and down in the creek, you know. All the little flotsam and jetsam down in the creek kind of inspired me in a way, you know. Probably secrets yeah. here that could actually explain the universe. Come to the conclusion, it's like probably some sort of DNA that has come through interstellar spores of some sort that's raining down out of outer space and uh, it's kind of gen genetically mutated to, uh, to instruct me to do this. As you notice, I've got my antenna pointed inwards. Because you're getting signals from outer space that are bouncing into your noggin right. I'm and then inspiring to get here you. So I can get better reception. <laughs> You could only do something like this in America. I had somebody from some South American country, I don't know if it was you know, Paraguay or where it was, and he said, you know, you could never do this in my country because you would never find any of this stuff. All this stuff would be repurposed somehow in some you know, probably more practical way or whatever. It really is a cathedral in that people, it's like a, it's a public work of art. You know, people give me the pieces, they use it for their events and whatnot, and, and I can see it, you know, being going beyond my lifetime and, you know, and being a part of the community, which is cool. Like, who knew junk was so popular? Yeah.